Hello. Um, this is the second Friday of June, um, June 8th to be exact, and I'm here for my second week of day fives. Um, these I mostly came up with when brainstorming for the first day five. Um, if you watched my first video, I was very scatterbrained because I didn't have my notes. I was off and it was very last minute and, oh, anyways. Um, so I wound up having to tweak things just a little bit um, because I remembered some things and decided to cancel the things out and whatnot. So anyways, um, I'm, I've got a uh, family reunion that I'm heading, heading to um, this afternoon for the weekend and, um, well, for part of the weekend. Um, got Friday and Saturday off so I could go to this and um, got my first paycheck today. That was awesome. Um, although I've yet to be able to put it into the bank or anything. But anyways, point is, I got paid. Yes. Okay. Um, just gonna get right to it. Don't want to draw this out any longer than it needs to be. We're already in a minute and a half. Number one, um, my number one is the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. Um, if you have watched the Vlogbrothers at all, um, they're awesome and everything. This is not exactly to do with them, just mentioning Vlogbrothers because I heard about um, the Lizzie Bennet Diaries from Hank Green, um, who was involved um, in the making of it um, to some extent. I can't remember right now off the top of my head how, but anyways, um, that's how I found out about it and I've been watching it and it's like a modern, um, retelling, um, adaptation of, um, Pride and Prejudice, which I love. It's, it's, oh goodness, anyways, um, getting, getting off topic slightly, but, um, it's in the style of a vlog and it's hilarious. Um, obviously there's been some liberties taken because, you know, adapting it from the times and everything. There's, there's things that, that have to be changed. Um, but I honestly think that they've done a fantastic job so far. Um, so you should definitely check them out. The link down below. Um, number two, another YouTube channel. Um, it, it also has a website, but it's Geek and Sundry. Um, I, I'm not much of a fan of people cussing and everything, um, or references to sex in media, um, so, uh, it's, there's some things that I, I would enjoy more if it didn't have those, um, things in it, but that in mind, um, the guild is an awesome show, um, web, sh web series, if you haven't watched it, you should check it out. But anyways, um, that is like the first way that I ever found out about Felicia Day. Um, she's also in Dr. Horrible's sing-along vlog, which there's supposed to be a second one coming out. I'm looking forward to that. Um, she won't, she can't be in that one if you've seen the first, uh, you would know. But anyways, I feel like that was a spoiler, I shouldn't have said that. Anyways, anyways, um, but Felicia Day is awesome and nerdy and yeah. Um, she started this channel, Geek and Sundry, and there's like all sorts of different things involved in this channel, but essentially it is just like nerd central and it is awesome and you need to check it out. Um, there's, there's several different types of things, so don't just watch one of the videos and rule it out. Make sure you check the different types of, of things that they cover, because there, there's something for every nerd out there on that channel. I, I'm, I'm sure of it. So that's my number two, Geek and Sundry. Link below. Um, number three is um, the survival games. Um, most people know about the Hunger Games book turned movie. Um, I finally got to finish reading the series. 
a couple of days ago, beginning beginning of this week, I guess. Um, it was good. The series is good. Um, I'm glad I finally got to finish reading it. But um, the survival games I discovered on YouTube, and um, it is a Minecraft server um, where they have made the world to be like um, the Hunger Games arena and um, they have there, there's two different versions well I say two different versions there's technically more than that but there's two pretty legit versions one is based um, from the arena in the first book one is based from the arena in the second book um, and I've seen both of them played and they are both really cool obviously you know there's there's been liberties taken because translating written um, to a Minecraft world, you know, there's there, there's some imagination in the translation from book to Minecraft. But anyways, um, I really want to play on one of those legit servers, but sadly the only ones that I've been able to get in on, um, because I'm not, uh, I'm not a hardcore Minecraft player, but I do play. Um, so rather than having to apply to do one of those more legit um, Minecraft servers of the survival games I've done just ones where it's horrible but that's that aside um, if you watch the videos of this guy um, playing the survival games it's it's awesome um, I, I don't it was like what 30 40 minutes something like that that I watched him play and I don't usually like watching people play games because I would rather be playing them myself but watching him play was awesome and hilarious and you need to check it out link down below number four I can't believe I'm about to say this my little pony friendship is magic I just said that I now kind of want to take it back um, <laughs> okay, I have not watched recently, and I have not watched anywhere near as much as some people. I'm, I'm obviously not a brony, I'm not a guy. It's somewhat okay for me to like My Little Pony, because I'm a girl. But that aside, um, one of my roommates, uh, this last year and all, um, Chelsea, she watched it and liked it. And I finally gave in one day because I was just so bored. I was like, okay, I'll try this new show. Click. And I started watching My Little Pony. Um, somewhat ashamed of myself, but for a cartoon about My Little Ponies, it's pretty good. Um, don't write it off, you know, without checking it out. It's not for everybody totally understand that, you know, um, don't expect everybody to love it, but pretty cool, it's funny, um, it's a boredom buster, <laughs> so check it out, um, maybe I'll, well, I've got some, um, cool parody stuff that I'll, I'll link in the bottom, or uh, IRL friend of mine, um, made some stuff, so I'll link those, or one or two of those below. Um, okay, number five, and, oh, I've got to keep these shorter, I'm so sorry. Number five is the Humble Indie Bundles. Um, they are little bundles of joy, and they're so awesome. You need to check it out. Um, I'm trying to remember the website off the top of my head, but I'm going to check it right now. It is Humble Bundle dot com humblebundle.com and I'll put the link down below so no worries there link that will be below but um, essentially what they do is they have games that are multi-platform um, in other words it's it's compatible with um, Windows with Mac I'm trying to remember I th I can't remember if it's already Linux compatible or if they're trying to make it Linux compatible. I, I want to say it's already Linux compatible. Um, 
and they also have some that are like mobile versions that um, will work on like Android and iPhone and whatnot. So, um, anyways, they're they're indie games though, and they bundle these games together. Um, usually anywhere from three to like eight games. Um, it kind of depends. Sometimes they wind up adding games on later, um, after they've already had a bundle on sale for a while, um, which I'll explain in a moment. The first time I ever bought one, I think it was maybe uh, the Humble Indie Bundle 3, I want to say, um, and it came with like five or six games, um, and the deal is, is you, you set your own price. For the games and um, anywhere from one cent to I guess a million dollars if you wanted to um, and then you divide up the price that you chose to pay between three things um, and you can give it all to one or you can split it up between the, the three or two of them whatever however you wish you split it up between whatever charity they're supporting at that moment um, between charity, the game developers who develop the games that you're buying, and the people who put together these um, humble indie bundles. So um, you make your, you know, set your price and you get these games. Um, they have an average price, um, so they take everything that everybody has paid and average it together to, to have an average price. If you pay above the average price, even by one cent, if you pay above that average price, you get a bonus game. And usually you want to pay above the average price because you're getting an awesome deal for those other games, but the average price is usually not that bad. The first bundle I bought, the average was about $5. Um, the last bundle that I just bought, it was like seven fifty ish and so I paid like, just because I, I wanted to like even out my bank account, I paid seven sixty eight, and I got five, five games. It was, I believe, four games with one extra. Now, I can, like, I, that was last Thursday, Friday, Friday, I guess, Friday or Saturday, and... I got an email just earlier today, I believe it was, and it turns out that they have added three more games onto it. So I got those like five games plus three more, not to mention that by buying the bundle I also got the soundtracks to all of those games. Um, one of the games in that bundle is Bastion, which if you know of it, like it, it, seems, it has a pretty good soundtrack. The soundtrack um, is on sale on Steam for ten dollars. I bought that whole bundle set for seven sixty eight, and I set that price. I didn't have to pay that much. I could have paid a dollar, and I would have gotten these games and the soundtracks. So awesome. Um, point being, it's a great deal. You can support a charity and indie game developers, and you know, also help these guys continue to put these bundles together. And it's just a great thing. You should totally check it out. Link down below. If you are a gamer, don't, don't, like, I, I don't want to say don't pass it up. Because, you know, you shouldn't spend your money frugally or anything. But you should totally check it out. Because it's usually worth it. You're going to get such a better deal than buying a game full price. You will save so much. So, now that I'm already almost to 15 minutes, um, I ranted about my FA5. I guess that, that makes them officially FA5. But I have to finish, stop now, otherwise YouTube is not gonna let me load this. So, bye guys. Um, if I don't see you before next Friday, then I'll see you then. Bye!